In this video, I'll be using PowerShell to configure region settings in Windows 11. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can also find links to documentation and also all the commands that I will be using in this video. And I will start this video with the command get culture and this command will give us current regional settings for the computer. And for that I will go to my VMware workstation where I have this Windows 11 virtual machine and I will be executing all the commands inside of it. So first I will go to my start menu, I will search for PowerShell and I will run it as administrator. Then I will click yes here and then I will just type get culture. Press enter and here we get our regional settings. We can see that currently it's set to English United States. We can confirm this by going to the user interface regional settings. And here we can also see that currently the region is English United States. And that's basically it for getting the regional settings. Now to set regional settings to other country, we can use the command set culture and then provide the country ID. In this case, I'm providing France as my country ID. And if you're not sure what country ID you need to provide, you can check out the link that I have here that brings us to the Microsoft documentation with all the countries and all the available IDs. Here, for example, we can see the country and then the country ID in here. Anyway, let's go back and then I will click on the button right here to copy this command, go back to my VMware workstation and I will insert the command into my command line. Then I will press enter and the culture was changed on this machine. We don't see it in the interface, but if I close it and reopen it, you can see that now my region is French France. And that's basically it for configuring region settings for a single user. Well, not for a single user, but for the current user. And the current user is the user that is executing the PowerShell commands for configuring the region settings. And that's important to understand because in this case, when we are executing the command set culture, it affects only the user that is executing the command. That means that all other users on the computer are not affected. And same goes for the users that will be creating in the future. For example, if I create another user, let's use net user command, and then let's create Bob account and let's add add. And then as you can see, the command was successfully executed. And if I log into the Bob's account, let's wait for his profile to be configured. And Bob's account was created. Now let's open a PowerShell window and let's type get culture. You can see that the culture for Bob's account is English United States. Same goes if I go to region settings in the user interface, we can see that it's also set to English United States because all the commands that I was running in the admins user only affected the admins user. And it can be a bit difficult to change region settings for other user accounts, but it's pretty easy to configure them for the new users. Anyways, for now, I will close everything here, sign out from Bob and go back to my admins user. And then I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have this command called copy user international settings to system. And this command allows us to copy the region settings to welcome screen and also new user accounts. So that means that all the new user accounts that will be created after this command will be executed will have the same region settings as the user that is executing this command. And not only that this command will copy the region settings, but also keyboards and other location related stuff. Anyways, now I'll click on the button right here to copy this command, go back to my virtual machine and I will insert the command here. Then I'll press enter. And now I will create another user in this time. I will name him John. The command was executed successfully and now let's log into John's account and let's see what region settings it will have. And John's profile was created. If I open a PowerShell window and type get culture, we can see that it's set to French and also we should see the same in the region settings in the user interface. Yes, we have French and France. 
And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you on the next one.